Hey guys, it's Dingani, and uh, if you haven't noticed, Minecraft has been making a comeback recently, and a pretty big one at that. And of course, I get sucked into the hype train by getting it for my Nintendo Switch, and god I love Minecraft. So one reason for the comeback of Minecraft is that it's Minecraft's 10 year anniversary, and that makes me feel old. I remember when I first played Minecraft, I got the early pocket edition on my Kindle Fire after my friend told me about it, and I was totally lost at first. But eventually, I really got into the exploration of it all. And this is like an alpha pocket edition, okay? It was super limited, your inventory could only hold up to three different items, so in survival, you'd be panicking trying to rapidly switch between different items that weren't in your inventory. But there's something admirable about it, because I remember getting pretty invested into the game and the community. The more you found out about the features that the PC version had, the more that you want to see Pocket Edition evolve. And the development of Pocket Edition was godly slow, and I have no idea why, because Minecraft was huge at that time. Like, you don't understand how long I waited for hunger. Literally something that made the game more difficult and just another thing to worry about, but something I wanted. I wanted more of Minecraft. Now, Minecraft holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts, and I'm assuming you've played some Minecraft since you clicked on a video about Minecraft. There were just aspects of Minecraft that made it so unforgettable. From playing with friends who were maybe states away from you, or just right next to you, Minecraft was fun. And also, fun fact, Minecraft is now the most sold game of all time. Yeah, it passed Tetris, the only game that counts all of the different versions of itself as one dumb puzzle thing. Minecraft passed to that. Now, anyway, I was still playing Pocket Edition for quite some time. I didn't have a laptop, so I had to be content without various features, such as having no custom skin, so everyone was walking around as default skin steves, and glitches were everywhere. And of course, we abused those glitches by duplicating diamonds in survival mode, thinking we were pro game hackers. There was no nether portal, but there was the nether reactor. Now, this wasn't as cool as the actual nether. You see, the Pocket Edition developers were still working on being able to generate a whole new world within the same world on a tablet. The nether reactor was a pretty cool alternative though. Following some random YouTube guide, you learn how to build it and BAM, you get a solid minute of the nether experience. Zombie pigmen are everywhere and items are dropping left and right. A whole tower builds up with you inside it. Now that, that was pretty neat. And once it was over, the tower stayed there, showing that yeah, you did that. But it also looked hideous. The pocket edition experience of Minecraft is what a lot of people grew up with. My cousin at least had like a thousand hours on his iPad too. But then Minecraft for console came out, and this was exciting, okay? It was the closest to the PC version of Minecraft a lot of us had yet, and I had my dandy PS3, aka my little big planet console, because that's like all I played on my PS3. I was able to get my hands on the sacred PlayStation gift card, which I used to buy Minecraft. I have a very specific memory of 12 year old me playing Minecraft Survival on my PS3, where I just got the game and found a wolf that became my pet, and I grew super close to him for like the two hours I had the game. And I built my house and felt accomplished as ever. And then I heard it. Yeah, right behind me, a creeper exploded, murdering my dog and damaging my house. I stood there for like a minute straight. This game was so brutal to me. These kids think they have it bad when they lose in Fortnite? No! This was true pain, and I was like actually emotionally damaged after that experience. My mom texted me in the middle of the night saying, what the f*** are you crying for? Minecraft is so simplistic, yet so fun and limitless. It's a game that encourages creativity with such a simple structure. It's blocks. You build everything, regardless of you being in creative or survival. The true creativity was building. You could also be with your friends building an amazing castle, house, or whatever comes to mind. And don't even get me started on the community, too bad I'm starting. This was when the Minecraft community was flourishing, Skydas Minecraft was uploading the latest cops and robbers, popular MMOs was doing the most exciting mob battles, and Captain Sparkles was releasing the best Minecraft music videos. Like remember Fallen Kingdom? That made me cry as a kid. A Minecraft music video. It was such a great time for the Minecraft community, and I was super into it, and it's honestly super nostalgic looking back at it all now. Minecraft was much more than a game. It was a platform for creativity and sharing. Eventually, I finally got my own laptop, and one of the first games I got on it was Minecraft. And PC Minecraft was the Chad Minecraft. And man, this was the real deal. Custom skins, joinable servers, and the latest updates. PC Minecraft was just 
fun. Hopping onto Mindplex for the first time, playing Hunger Games was a blast. And it was the Battle Royale before Battle Royales. With so many kids having Fortnite as their first big experience game, a lot of people are comparing Minecraft to Fortnite. And just to be clear, I don't dislike Fortnite. It's a really fun game and the developers are constantly adding exciting and creative things to the game. But it just holds a different ground compared to Minecraft. Minecraft has so much more potential for creativity, and that's just on a basic creative direction level. Fortnite's main thing is always going to be Battle Royale. It's what made it so popular and profitable in the first place. Even with its creative modes, Minecraft is just more limitless. From the beginning, Minecraft was made as a creative sandbox game. A game about building, and just that. From there, Minecraft was built up upon, eventually being playable with friends and adding a survival mode for a different experience focused more on the well, survival. Microsoft eventually bought Minecraft, and this had mixed reactions. Personally, I wasn't really playing Minecraft too much at this point, and honestly, I thought Microsoft would add a fresh new direction to the game. They added a lot of really cool things, and some less cool things. And at this point, a lot of the people who grew up with Minecraft fell out of the game. It was more of a thing for the younger generation to play now, and those lucky bastards didn't have to wait half a year for a new block to be added into the game. But then something happened. With the younger generation being more into Fortnite, nostalgic memes started popping up and Minecraft was approaching that 10 year anniversary. And people were being dragged back into Minecraft, including me. Now that I have it for Switch, I'm fully prepared to waste another million hours of my life with this game. And not playing for a while gets you excited for all the new stuff being added. And honestly, just about all of the new features were for the better. Hearing that C418 Sweden Minecraft music just hits a lot of us in that specific nostalgic spot and memories flood back. Minecraft has really made something of itself, and it's truly iconic. And I'm honestly happy that Minecraft is back in the spotlight right now. It's a blast of a game, and there's just so much to do with it. So yeah, thank you Minecraft for being one of the most impactful games in the world. And also for the memes. Now I suppose I should talk about some other games. If you made it this far, clicking the subscribe button to my channel will really mean a lot. I talk about video games on this channel and a lot of Nintendo games, so if you think you'd like that, feel free to subscribe. I just graduated so I'll be working on some various videos about various video games. And also, as a graduation gift, I found out I'm going to VidCon. I'm totally unprepared, but yeah, I'll be there. Anyway, I don't want to make this too long, but you can follow me on Twitter at itstingani. You can see more of me and behind the scenes with my content. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Now, play Minecraft.